Hey guys, welcome to the first game between Dentarg and Exit. This is BSL Season 12 Chobo League, round of four. Dentarg starting in the bottom left-hand corner as the orange Protoss upper left-hand corner. We have Exit starting as the victory green Terran. This is going to be on Shakura's Temple, I believe. Double check that. Temple, not Plateau. Got it right this time. Temple. And I don't know who to favor between these two, honestly. Dentarg, check him out. He, I believe he's a coach and tier zero player in CPL. Exit, also a coach, I believe. And I think also tier zero, if not tier one player in CPL. These guys are solid, both of them, all the way. Last time I talked to Exit, he was saying he was hitting somewhere around 2100, which was, I think, solidly A these days. I am not anywhere near that level of play. Uh, on the ladder so as far as like points and translating that into like a versus s I'm a little bit weak in that field but but I know both of these guys are solid is what it comes down to that's why they make it to the round of four here and honestly I don't know who to favor I do not know Dentarg has shown a lot of flexibility up to this stage exit has shown a lot of creativity as well we'll see this is a big macro map on top of everything else and I I'm trying to like peel back my memory to early ma early matches in Chobo League. It feels like we've been going for quite a while. Assimilator being dropped after Gateway. By the way, for Dentarg, so no early Zealot pressure wants to get those Dragoons out as quickly as possible. I feel like when it's come down to long-term macro matches for Dentarg versus Terran, he's just really been able to smash that pretty effectively, if I recall. And so, I don't know. We'll see. Excited to see it all the way around. Also had Exit actually in Twitch chat last time and got to hear from him. Had a little bit of trouble here and there. It looks like he's going to scout that upper right-hand corner. Uh, also, by the way, I do have NA team battles I'm going to be casting after Chobo League while I'm waiting for season 13, lucky number 13, of Chobo League and Hasso League to start up. I might... This is, I think, the first time we're going to be able to commentate right as the games are starting to be played, so I might be a little bit more on top of it. But if there's other replays or things you want to see, let me know and send them my direction. Really appreciate that. Looks like we're seeing a is wow, practically a so command center before even bunker on a floor a four player map, which was honestly I feel like this was a little bit risky, just relying on lack of scouting from Dentarg to not have a zealot in his face and no proxy gateways or anything like that. Exit scouting the bottom right hand corner now he knows where Dentarg is. Dentarg going range first. He's not sent out a scout yet. Is getting his first dragoon, and it looks like he's wanting to go potentially. We'll see if he goes one gate or if he goes two gate. Uh, pressure to start things off. Now exit going ahead and grabbing that supply depot. I expect a bunker after this on the front door. And the way this is looking, so grabbing that refinery, I assume he's just going to go one factory uh, siege tank into expand. We'll have to see. He is going to have the scouting information to go ahead and adjust his build accordingly. This Dragoon sitting on the ramp. Dentarg might be up to something a little bit cheesy. Tr not blocking out that SCV. Oof. So SCV able to wander in. See the probes on gas, see the range spinning, and see no second gateway, which lets him know he is secure. And he might even skip, yeah, he skips additional marines as a result, which is going to allow him to get that factory out a little bit earlier, knowing that he's not going to be facing an immense amount of early Dragoon pressure. Nexus is warping in. Exit might have missed a little bit of an opportunity to, uh, so it looks like that, is that the same SCV? I think that's the same SCV that's gone ahead and pulled out. Uh... He might have missed an opportunity to go ahead and drop an engineering bay or something along those lines uh, towards that front door. First Dragoon, sorry, that SCV did in fact die. Dragoon is making its way out towards the front. Looks like there is three there are three Marines in that bunker. <clears throat> factory being built, and it looks like Exit wants to go ahead and go for a two-factory build as far as a follow-up. He's got pretty decent seal on this front door. Range is going to be finished. He only needs to pull off a single SCV. And what's not Ooh, going to pull out the Marines, try to do a little bit of damage. Three Marines does... Three Marines are capable of killing a Dragoon, particularly if they're microed quite well. So Exit really playing fiercely here. And Dentark finally, this is so late, but finally moving a probe out to just kind of do some generalized scouting information. And I like what Exit's doing, just kind of being persistent. So yeah, that front door is being hit a little bit. Again, doing some additional damage to these Dragoons. These Marines need to be careful, though, because they do not have range. They might end up get, getting taken out, but that SCV is going to go ahead and peel into that natural expansion. It's going to see that natural expansion finishing, the probes transferring, and he's also going to get a good look at the Dragoon count and basically seeing the amount of Dragoons, he has kind of a general concept of what he's up to comparatively. There is a robotics facility up. We do see double gateway. 
I think we're going to see, yeah, we are seeing Observatory first, so it's going to be expansion into three gate Robo, which suggests more of a long term macro play to go ahead and grab <clears throat> standard third. We do see double machine shop planting down for exit, so I think he's going to try to follow this up with a, with that vulture follow up, <clears throat> do some harassment there. That single SCV uh, just sitting there camped, going to go ahead and repair that until that tank moves up to provide some of that pressure relief. And he does have the opening to, in fact, do this, grabbing that engineering bay just in case to respect those DTs. He does have the option to go ahead and do this because he, he knows at this stage what Dentarg is more or less up to. That's an interesting positioning for that observatory. <clears throat> Going ahead and planting that observatory to that natural expansion to create a little bit of a seal against that potential vulture pressure. Dentarg moving out, I believe, to go ahead and grab his third. The Marines again pulling out to try to kill that Dragoon. The Dragoon is going to go ahead and back off on that siege tank being very, very brave, although Exit knows he's not going to pay for it again because of the smaller Dragoon count. Also like that engineering bay over the corner to go ahead and see a shuttle if it was making its way that direction. Really respecting potential DT play here, though. And dropping a lot of turrets, which kind of dual function. One, it'll press back against potential DT drops, but also it can kill observers if they just walk their way in. And it looks like it is making its way that direction. Dantarg has grabbed that 6 o'clock base. No double upgrades, so I take it back. It looks like this is just going to be pure siege tank production for exit in the mid-game. He's very, very concerned about drops. Very, very concerned. Uh, maybe, I'm wondering if this is, I don't know if he caught <laughs> the previous game, but upon seeing that observer taking damage over that natural expansion, that's a big cue for him. He's got the three siege tanks and marines now moving out. And certainly going to be able to kill this Dragoon, but actually it might be trouble otherwise, because it's just as, that's just only, what, three Dragoons otherwise. And he might be able to, uh, starting to do comsat and scans and whatnot to see what he can. I'm not sure if he, did he catch the third base? It doesn't look like he caught the third base. Just sees units moving out. So he's going to go ahead and shell right back up. That observer is kind of camped over that corner. It needs to be a little bit careful once it gets that shield. Oh, good comsat with those Marines underneath could take it out pretty rapidly. So that's four siege tanks hugging the front. I'm not sure that exit really uh, had a, uh, a true threat right there he is getting and keep in mind he also didn't have siege tech behind that i think he's just going to peel back into the standard i don't know 11 minute ish timing no i take it back he's going to go for a drop so skipping armory so now grabbing an armory but this is at the seven minute mark <clears throat> which is a lot later than typical so i believe he's going to go for some sort of vulture drops <clears throat> and try to play the game from there dentarg in the meantime has managed to get his third base up he's got a good amount of dragoons out on the front and I'm kind of curious where his tech is headed from this stage. He's got the, that Robo. He does have a Reaver produced. Let's see if he gets a shuttle after it. I can't imagine that he's going to go for any form of drop after this upon seeing just a lot of uh, just all the turrets. And honestly, I think his observer moved in and died to that, that turret to the north. So it's, I mean, he's pretty well shelled in. There's a lot of siege tanks on the ground, which is typically not what you want to push Reavers into because siege tanks just... That's what you want in reaver defense. It's just a lot of siege, well, optimally Goliath overhead as well. Uh, but a lot of siege tanks on the ground. But this build, I'm not sure what this is, to be honest. So there's the dropship. No vultures being produced just yet. We do have vulture speed uh, on the way. So it's possible we'll see a handful of siege tanks. We've got a shuttle and two zealots. And this is, I think, to hit, uh, to check against that, like, I don't know, nine minute ish timing. 930, I think, is the exact timing on Terran. Sometimes when they peel out and wants to go ahead and drop uh, reavers and whatever not and kind of like peel against that but an exit looking for a or sorry dentar looking for a potential move out against that to try to defend it and continue to macro up we're also grabbing interestingly enough a photon cannon at his third to potentially deal with shuttle drops that shuttle making its way this direction there are two dragoons where they could in fact spot it it looks like they are going to slip by, and this is unfortunate for Dentarg because he's he's plopping down additional gateways. Most of his units were on the front to deal with the potential move out, and now those vultures and two C and a single siege tank are going to be able to drop into the main. There's only a single cannon to try to defend. Looks like they are going to be able to drop overall, and that tank can siege here and take that cannon out at range. And this is a long distance to traverse for Dentarg to go ahead and get reinforcements back. So he's going to have to rely on units coming out of his gateway, which are on delay. It looks like actually two Dragoons were able to slip underneath. The Vultures peeling back. They're going to start working on that. They're trying to pick off a couple of probes. I don't know if this is going to play out really well for Exit. I don't think this is worth it overall. So he took out, I don't know, three, four probes. Took out a cannon. But this was a big investment. 
the starport, the shuttle, and losing that siege tank and otherwise, and that's going to allow Dentarg, in my opinion, to take a economic lead. Well, he's already had an economic lead, but he's going to continue to cap that economic lead. Going to go ahead and grab a fourth base in that bottom right-hand corner. Some vultures starting to meander out. So both players about even as far as the raw probe count, but this is more saturation for Dentarg overall. He is going to have, he does have to resaturate that main. Looks like he was able to do so. Zelt speed finishing. He's going to go ahead and move into Arbiter play to follow this up, but this level one weapons, this is, keep in mind, this is level one weapons. There's a second armory somewhere around here. So level one weapons, I don't think is even finished yet. So this is, we're approaching, I don't know. And I think that's going to finish around what, like 1230 level one weapons, level one armor. And Exit needs to start thinking about taking his third at that stage. And I believe if Dentar gets aggressive here with the units he has, Vulture meandering in, it is finding this base. It looks like it was able to slip through. Looking for the probe to kill, but the probe is already evacuated to the north. Nice play on Dentarg's uh, kind of heads up. He's also got that reaver kind of camp nearby to go ahead and start doing harassment as things start moving uphill. Basically get some free shots uh, overall. So basically Dentarg has moved up. He's got all sorts of gateways to produce. He does have the Stargate to deal honestly with pushes that might come out comparatively. It looks like now starting to move up. I think... Might have eaten a little bit of reaver shots. And this is just, I, this isn't like a valid threat where I'm going to kill you. This is just, I'm going to harass you threat and try to delay your third as long as possible. And exit's already behind a base. Some cannons warping in. That vulture, because of the way the probes spawn out, that vulture's actually able to kill units before they land. So Stentarg eventually is going to have to send something out to deal with that vulture. It's a little bit annoying. But keep in mind, that's a fourth, not a third. And this is a lot of time where it looks like that was lifted off and landed. This is a lot of time where the SEVs are not transferring. And Dentarg now moving into the north dealing with some vultures right as the SEVs are going across. This is might allow that Reaver to get a big hit on the SEVs, able to get some damage right there. All sorts of SEVs actually making their way that direction. A lot of Dragoons dying. The Zelt's trying to move up, and it looks like they're going to run across. Might be able to get on the Siege Tanks, and it looks like, again, the Reaver's dropping to the north. The Vulture's right there getting on top of it. So some nice harassment here from Dentarg, losing... Uh, between a lot of this, losing some units, but this is units he can afford to lose because honestly, he can replenish this very, very rapidly and really delaying this third base. On the opposite side, this vulture's gotten six probe kills so and really halted production right there. It's going to take a minute for Dentarg to realize what's happening there and regroup. So Exit able to finally saturate that 12 o'clock location. But because of all this damage that Exit's done and continuing to macro, he's a and Dentarg actually floating a lot of minerals, Exit's actually going to take a slight lead, at least in as far as supply goes, but I don't think it's going to last because Dentarg does have a whole bunch of gateways up. He does have this ar two Arbiters already queued. He's got Stasis on the way, and I believe Weapons 1 just, just finished. Yes, Level 1 Weapons, Level 1 Armor just finished, working on Level 2 to follow this up. So Dentarg has a lot of production to push this back. Let's see if he finally... Okay, finally moving something in. Wow, that vulture did an immense amount of damage. And Dentarg's... <clears throat> this might be a little greedy, actually, from Dentarg. He's going to go ahead and take that 1 o'clock location while Exit's starting to move out. I don't know if he realizes how even the supplies are. And he doesn't have much of an army to cover everything he's trying to cover. Exit actually pushing out with a lot of this attack force. And this is before the Arbiter is online to go ahead and engage this. A lot of Dragoons getting peeled out. So Exit might have find, found himself... Despite having that third delay for a bit of time, because of Dentarg being a little bit of greedy, a little bit greedy and falling behind on his macro, he might be able to just win this game heads up by diving into Dentarg's natural expansion, sealing him in and winning the game from there. A handful of speed zealots moving the way out. I'm looking for where the Arbiter is. The shuttle trying to float alongside and be a threat, but it doesn't have anything in it, so it's not exactly legitimate. And exit diving might have just won this straight up. Yeah, there's GG from Dentarg. Unfortunate. Dentarg, I feel like, did a lot. To be in a position to win this game, but lacking on macro, that vulture also being a bit of harassment on bottom right-hand corner, potentially overcommitting at this 11 o'clock base, but I got to give it to Exit, realizing the situation, realizing perhaps that his economy was delayed, had that level one weapons, level one armor up, and uh, pushed, just pushed up and was able to wipe it out right at the 13-minute mark. That I got to admit, that's not the way I expected things to swing, so props to Exit for seeing the opportunity and seizing it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. Game one, going to exit.